difference a year makes. A year ago at this time, you were at the side of the Macho Man when he became the undisputed world champ. One year later, you're going to be challenging this very same man for the world crown. One year ago, brother, me and the Macho Man were as one. We were best of friends. I should have seen this thing coming, man. As the mega power team was formed, brother, the mania was a little bit ahead of the madness, man. Yeah, Hulk Hogan, I remember way back when, when the mega powers were bonded. Yeah, you made a lot of promises to the Macho Man, didn't you? Promises that you didn't keep. He made me believe that he was in my corner, me and Gene, and he was ready to fight all odds. Macho Man Randy Savage went so far as to attack your Hulkamaniac. Oh, yeah, he did more than just attack the Hulkamaniacs, brother. It was him that was eating alive by the jealousy. He couldn't handle the pressure. He promised that Elizabeth would never be in a dangerous position. And who had to come in and make that critical save? The Macho Man Randy Savage covering for Hogan again. Hogan, I only come down to your matches when it's absolutely necessary. But you, you play by different rules. Yeah, you gotta get in your grandstanding and your hot dogging, don't you? Yeah! Brother, you're a cheap shot artist. You were never in my corner. All I want from you is your best. When Hulkamania puts you down, I want the whole world to realize that I beat you at your best. And what you gonna do, Macho Man, when the whole world full of Hulkamaniacs destroy you? The Mega Powers explode. WrestleMania 5, Hulk Hogan versus Randy Savage for the WWF Championship. Ooh, Hulk Hogan, yeah. You see, you don't know where the Macho Man is coming from? Yeah, you're right. You don't know anything about the Macho Man, Randy Savage, and where I'm coming from. Because it's mind-boggling to you, yeah! yeah. A one man could make it to the top all by myself. No pukesters helping me to the left, and no pukesters helping me to the right. Didn't need them then, don't need them now! And another person I don't need is Elizabeth either, yeah. Cause I'm the champion by myself, all by myself. You don't know where I'm coming from, Hulk Hogan. It's Sunday afternoon, but I know where you're coming from, yeah. I know everything about Hulk Hogan, yeah. I know what makes you tick, yeah. And you got the audacity, yeah, to see that in WrestleMania 5, that Hulkamania is gonna survive. <sighs> you don't know me, Hulk Hogan. You don't know where I'm coming from. After I'll beat you with that big elbow and pin you one, two, three, guaranteed victory. <sighs> I'm gonna tell you, and all the pukesters out there one last time before the Sunday afternoon. Hokamania is dead. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it's for the WWE Championship. Approaching the ring from Sarasota, Florida. Weighing 245 pounds, the WWE Champion, Macho Man, Randy Savage. That's Randy Savage coming out for us. The Mega Powers will explode tonight at WrestleMania 5. Miss Elizabeth saying that she will be here tonight to support both men. How is she going to do that? There he is, JR. Oh, and what a champion he has been this past year. Winning the title one year ago at WrestleMania 4 here in Atlantic City and coming back tonight to proudly defend the WWE Championship that he had defended all year long. We're going to talk about this card. It was a little bit behind Hercules defending King Haku, the Twin Towers Akeem, the African Dream, and the Big Boss Man defeating the Rockers of Shawn Michaels and Marty Jannetty, Brutus Beefcake. And approaching the ring, versus Ted DiBiase ended in a double counting. About to make her entrance, she will have to go to a neutral corner. Yeah, what a gold digger she is, Jr. I know exactly what she's going to do. She's going to go with whoever wins. Miss Elizabeth has been put into a terribly awkward 
situation. Let's not make things worse than they already are, King. The 14 matches on this card, the Bushwhackers defeated the Fabulous Rougeaus. Mr. Perfect defeated the Blue Blazer, that's Owen Hart, Demolition of Axe and Smash, retained against the powers of Pain, Barbarian and Warlord. Dino Bravo defeated Ronnie Garvin. The Brainbuster and Arn Anderson and Tully Blanchard defeated Strike Force of Rick Martell and Tito Santana. Jake Roberts defeated Andre the Giant by DQ. The Heart Foundation defeated Greg Valentine and the Honky Tonk Man. Rick Rude defeated the Ultimate Warrior. And to become Intercontinental Champion. From Venice Beach, California, weighing 303 pounds, Hulk Hogan. Listen to this place explode. Everyone on their feet to greet that man, Hulk Hogan. This guy is so underhanded. He wouldn't step up to Macho Man face to face and ask for a title match. He had to go after Macho's woman. How much lower can you sink than to go after your best friend's woman? Well, you're entitled to your own opinion, King, as is everyone. Listen, Macho Man won the WWE Championship in the biggest tournament in WWE history. And Hogan just laid in the weeds and thought of a devious plan to distract Macho, to steal his manager, steal his woman, to get Macho's mind off of what he is, and that's the WWE Champion. And we also had Bad News Brown versus Jim Duggan ending in a double disqualification. The Red Rooster defeated Bobby Heenan in 31 seconds. And now the main event, Hulk Hogan versus Randy Savage for the WWF Championship. And this is going to be a tremendous title match. And there it is. That's what we're here for. And the mega powers explode. If I would be Macho Man versus Hogan, I wouldn't have believed you. But Just gonna get Randy to critical. Exploding before our very eyes. Mega powers, one of the most dominant duos in WWE history. Hogan on the offensive against his former best friend, the Macho Man. We knew the mega powers were going to explode tonight. Hogan rode the WWE Champions coattails all year long. His jealousy of Savage and his lust for Elizabeth festered until it destroyed the Mega Power. What great long-term storyline. What great long-term storytelling is what I was trying to say. Competitors here in WWE King. The man is volatile. Just look at how he treats Miss Elizabeth. Yeah, just look at her, JR. Fame and fortune just fell on her lap all because of the Macho Man. We should all be treated so badly. And there he goes, crashing to the floor. Was a table. Oh, let's put Randy through the table. Whoa, whoa, watch out! The announce table is getting torn down. Two. Oh, oh yeah. Three. What are we going to say again? Hogan entering unfamiliar. Whoa! Huge macho elbow, macho elbow. Here we see it from this angle. Gee, I can't believe it. The King can't believe it. The audience can't believe it. Hogan has gone absolutely insane off the top rope. Are you kidding me? Look! And a Randy Savage. And he recovers so quickly. Three. What you gonna do? And he's toast. And a big reversal by the Macho Man. He's doing critical to give him a big boot. I'm going to save that leg drop because I'm sure you're going to need the leg drop later. I've made that mistake before using the finisher and then the objective is heat finisher. It's hard to believe that these two superstars were such good friends not that long ago. It was all a lie, JR. A lie perpetrated by Hogan. He's a grandstander, a hot dogger. He craves the spotlight no matter the cost. Yeah, it's true. The ref is telling Macho and Hogan to get back into the ring and is sending Elizabeth to the back. So the best heels don't need to be right. They just need to believe that they're right. That's what makes them so good. Back into the ring now. 
But we still need to get him to critical. We haven't got him to critical. A shot to the gut. Keep attacking that head. Still not critical. Just keep punching him in the head till he's critical he is. Get up to taking a top rope elbow. So now that Randy... That Randy hit an elbow drop. Off you go, Randy. Randy elbow. Alright, kick out. I'm not very good at kicking out because you don't... I don't get pinned very often. So you don't get a lot of practice. Oh. <laughs> you get one chance at that as well. Oh no, roll through. Another roll through. He should get more of those pins to practice on. Like those roll through pins. Randy's gone insane. Another roll through. into a leg drop, come on Hogan. I don't have a finisher, I've just got a signature. Alright. Big boot. I've got two finishers. Gonna hit him with two finishers. Take this Randy. Why do two finishers when you can do why do one finisher when you can do two finishers? One, both legs hooked, two there goes the champion. Here is your winner and new WWE champion. Oh, Hogan. Hogan. Oh, makes me sick. He did it. The entire building is becoming unglued as once again the Hulkster holds the gold of the WWE Championship. Right there, you got a guy that will stoop to any level to get what he wants. The Macho Man. Heading to the back, obviously disappointed in himself and disappointed in losing the WWE Championship. And there you see Hulk Hogan in the ring celebrating with thousands of Hulkamaniacs in attendance. This capacity crowd on their feet as history has been made in Atlantic City at WrestleMania 5. Hulk Hogan defeats the Macho Man for the WWE Championship. Hogan is once again the WWF Champion. Just what he wanted all along. See you later.